In this video, we will be doing a recap of the 2014 American action film In the Blood. The film begins with a scene from 2002 when a 14-year-old Ava wakes up in the middle of the night. At her young age, Ava's father taught her martial arts, trained her to fight, to survive, to never be a victim, and never cry. Her father is an outlaw and his days are numbered, so he will not always be by her side to protect her. Seeing his father murdered by two men who broke into their house, she was shocked but she didn't cry instead she kills the assailants. Next scene, Ava is grown up and marries Derek Grant from a well-off family. His father Robert Grant, who disapproves of Ava wants Derek to have Ava sign a prenup, but Derek declines. The couple fly off to a Caribbean island for their honeymoon and stay in Derek's family-owned summer home. While they were on the island they met Manny who invited them to a club run by his friend and also to the zipline after. Inside the club, the notorious criminal Big Biz likes Ava and dances with her. When Derek took his wife back to him, Big Biz got angry and punched Derek. Ava loses her temper and gets into a fight. Derek and Manny take Ava away and leave the club. The next day Manny picks up the couple and goes to the zipline. Derek wants to do the mile-long zip line but Ava doesn't because she's afraid of heights. While he was there, his belt snapped in the middle of the line. Manny tries to help him but he can't hold anymore so Derek falls to the ground. Ava looks for Derek and finds him in the forest with a broken leg and unconscious but still alive. The staff called the ambulance and took Derek. Ava wants to come but the paramedics stop her. They said that she can't come with them but give the card so she can follow to the hospital. Ava asks the staff, Jojo, about Manny and he said he doesn't know so she follows the ambulance alone. On the road, she was hit by a car. The driver offered to help and brought her to the hospital. She inquired at the reception about her husband but the lady told her that there was no record of Derek being admitted. Ava looked for him in other medical facilities on the island and she hears the same thing. Ava goes to the police station to report her husband missing. While she's on the station sitting, she remembers her training with her father telling her that she can only rely on herself. Next scene, her in-laws arrive on the island and together they talk to police chief Garza to ask for help. After some questioning, they all go to the zip line. The owner denies that they were open the day Derek fell and that he doesn't know Manny. They went back to the station and Garza showed Ava a video of her fight in the club which was emailed to him. Garza asks Ava if she's on drugs because she has a violent side which she never talked about. Ava said she was defending herself. She sees the sketches of the two paramedics on the table, she takes it and tells Garza that if he's not going to look for her husband, she will. She leaves with her in-laws and posted flyers of missing Derek. While they were asking around, Ava thought that she saw Derek inside a car, so she chased the car just to find out that it wasn't him. Back in their house, Robert suspects Ava of not telling everything. He thinks that someone might want to kill her but kill Derek instead and that she wants to tap in his finances. Ava said that she doesn't care about Robert's finances and that she loves Derek more than anything else. Her in-laws left and she went back to Jojo at the zip line. She threatens to drop him so he confesses that Manny is involved and shows the recording to Garza. Ava hopes that the chief would help him find her husband but instead arrests her. She tries to resist the arresting officers but fails. Garza said to her that she just tortured Jojo to make him speak. So he orders Officer Santos to send her back to Puerto Rico. On the ferry, Ava told Santos she needed to go to the restroom. Santos escorts her and inside the restroom she hits Santos and manages to escape by jumping off the ferry. Ava swims back and goes to the club to look for Manny. She followed him to the restroom and torture him so he'll confess. Manny insists that he doesn't know about what happened to Derek. Ava shows him the sketch of the paramedics from the police. Manny recognizes that the tattoo they have is from a known drug syndicate in the area and promised to help Ava find them. The two ask around about the men on the sketch but no one knows them. Manny goes inside the cockfighting arena and leaves Ava in the car. While inside the arena Manny is recording the video of men who look like the ones on the sketch and sends it to Ava. Outside, 
Ava sees Timo, one of the paramedics and she follows him into the slums. Timo knows she's coming so he hits her. Ava beats Timo and knocks him out. She interrogates him and using what she knows about human anatomy which she learned from her father, Ava stabs him from different parts of his body where she knows he will feel an excruciating pain. Timo said that he didn't know about her husband. His brother Omar, the other paramedic gave him money to keep quiet. Ava sends Omar a message through his brother's cell phone. He arrives, and Ava attacks him. Omar fights back and tries to stab her but Ava is too quick to shoot Omar and kills him. Ava ended up in jail for assault and for killing Omar. Garza lets her out and points out that he suspects Ava of paying Timo and Omar to kill her husband. She is now the prime suspect for disappearance and probable murder of her husband. Garza orders the officers to take Ava to the headquarters for interrogation. Ava insists that her husband is alive and that Garza should look for him. On their way, Ava noticed that they were not going to the headquarters. The cops go out of the car and get the shovel from the trunk. Ava sensed that the two would kill her and bury her in that place. She tries hard to break free from her cuffs and when Santos asks her to come out, she hits him and slashes his neck. Ava strikes back at the other cop as he walks in toward her and kills him. Next scene, Garza receives a phone call from Santos. He asks if everything is good, but Ava answers no and orders him to meet her at his daughter's room. Garza takes his gun and slowly walks to the room where he sees Ava aiming her gun at his daughter. Garza fears for his daughter's life so he hands over his gun to Ava and admits to her that it was he who is responsible for Derek's disappearance. He did it because he owes Dr. Abelard for saving his daughter's life. Ava asks him where Derek is and he replies that the doctor made a mistake in handling Derek's bones. Dr. Abelard punctures his artery, trying to save him but fails. The doctor begged Garza to cover it up. Ava chides Garza for lying to her the whole time knowing that Derek is dead and for helping her get killed. Garza accepts that he is a bad man but asks Ava not to kill her there. Ava gives him the option to kill himself between a knife and a gun. She told him to do it in the bathroom and she will make sure that his wife will see it, not his daughter. Ava leaves a trail of blood as she slowly walks out of the house signifying Garza's suicide. At Manny's house, Ava is crying. She tells him that Derek is gone and that she needs to finish what has started. She goes to the hospital and sees the staff coming out of her car. She hits and knocks her down to get her ID. She enters the hospital and sees Dr. Abelard. She follows him and wraps his head in a plastic bag while asking what happened to the body of her husband, Derek, who has broken bones. The doctor denies any knowledge about Derek. Ava also mentioned Garza and his wife but the doctor also denies at first but when Ava continues from suffocating him, Dr. Abelard tells her to look at the surveillance screens. Ava is surprised to see that Derek is alive, on a wheelchair being pushed into the hospital by a group of men. She points the gun to Abelard, he threatens Ava that if she pulls the trigger, her husband will surely die. The men escorting Derek are seen inside the elevator and the doctor greets their leader Silvio Lugo, a local crime figure, with his men and Derek. Lugo asks who Ava is. Abelard introduces Ava as his new assistant. Lugo asks her name and Ava introduces herself as Christy. Lugo goes straight to the room where Derek is and talks to him. Ava, who is disguised as a nurse, puts on her mask and gets Lugo ready for the procedure. Abelard told him that he needs to give Derek anesthesia but Lugo said no need and that Derek can handle it. While the doctor is collecting the stem cells from Derek, Ava injected Lugo's IV with Propofol to sedate him. When the doctor starts the stem cell transplant procedure, Lugo feels something different and finds out that Ava is trying to put him to sleep. Ava takes the gun under the bed and shoots the man that attempts to pull his gun. She takes the gun from the other two and says she is Derek's wife when Lugo asks him who she is. She shoots the man again and Lugo is startled. He explains that he has cancer, a rare one called multiple myeloma. The only effective treatment is transfusions of stem cells from bone marrow. He paid Dr. Abelard to find him a donor who happens to be Derek. 
Ava is helping Derek to get on the wheelchair while Lugo is talking. Before they leave, Ava locks the door, but the gang goes the other way and shoots them. Ava shoots back and kills one of Lugo's men. They get to the elevator and slowly walk out to the hospital exit. Lugo sees them and shoots. Ava fires back and hits the gas cylinder where Lugo hides. Ava takes Lugo and kills the one who shoots her. They manage to get a car and leave the hospital. Ava sends a message to Manny while on their way. Lugo doesn't stop talking about bone marrow donations so Ava hits him. He continues to talk and insult Derek by asking if he knows how to use a gun. Derek shoots him and Lugo jumps out of the car, gets into his men's car and follows Ava and Derek. Manny is giving Ava instructions through a cell phone using girls as their guide. Lugo's gang pursues Ava and Derek until they reach the river. Manny is helping the couple through his friends who are doing everything to stop Lugo. Lugo shoots at everyone including Ava, Derek and Manny. The three manage to get away but they are seen by the bystanders and inform Lugo. Manny brings the couple to his house but mumbles that it's not safe there as he sees Lugo's gang coming. Lugo finds Manny's house. The gang looks for the couple but can't find them there. They check other houses but Ava was first to find one of Lugo's men and knocks him down. The next man comes and Ava beats him too. Lugo goes to the house where he hears shots only to find two of his men dead. Outside, his two other men are dead and he finally finds Ava. They fight but Lugo pulls out his blade and hits Ava. In the other house Derek attacks one of Lugo's men but the police arrive and arrest them. While there are fights everywhere in the village, Manny is communicating with Big Biz. Ava gets the chance to grab the knife and point it on Lugo's neck. When the police show up, Lugo orders the police to arrest Ava, just in time for Big Biz to arrive and he asks Ava for the knife and cuts Lugo's throat. Big Biz makes a pact with the police and tells the couple that they can leave and go home. Big Biz promises the villagers that the island will be a better place. Last scene, the three of them are saying their goodbyes as Manny sees their fairy leaving the island. Thank you for watching Movie Recap. Please don't forget to subscribe, like and turn on the notification bell for more videos like this.